Dina's calling from Ealing. Dina, hi. Hello. Um, Evening. So I'm a doctor who works in the NHS and my nursing colleagues are uh, exhausted, overwhelmed and utterly in need of some kind of support. Um, my, mm. my, my junior medical colleagues are also um, underpaid, overwhelmed, burnt out, exhausted and we're hemorrhaging staff um, at both uh, nursing and uh, medical uh, levels throughout the NHS. That's obvious from the number of vacancies that we have and it's obvious from, from the way we're having to work at the moment. West Streeting, Keir Starmer, I'll come to in a second, but West Streeting has absolutely decided to go to war with the, with the BMA today for, for an unknown reason. But he's decided to say that the BMA are a vested interest and don't want to have um, improvements in patient care. The entire reason that people are, are doing this, the entire reason that we are, are, are stressed out of our brains is because we can't improve patient care the way we're having to work at the moment. We don't have enough mm. staff. We're losing everybody. The idea, the only reason that we want to improve, to, 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 to have an, an increase in pay is to try and improve recruitment and retention and to try and make the doctors and nurses who are working in the NHS able to continue working. Junior nurses will earn more by leaving the NHS and going and doing something else. Junior doctors, we're, we're hemorrhaging them to other countries, to Australia, to New Zealand, to Canada. Consultants, if you go to an Australian emergency department, you will find the vast majority of staff there will be emerg in, you know, English-trained doctors working there, the same in Canada, the same in Dubai, the same in Saudi. We, we, are tra we, are, we have become the suppliers of doctors to other countries because we cannot mm. retrain. We, we cannot retain our doctors and nurses. You know... Uh, uh, Ireland yesterday put out their, their most recent um, pay offer for their consultants, which is two hundred and seventy thousand seventy five thousand euros per year. It, that's about triple what an what an English consultant will earn. Our consultants' pay has had a thirty percent drop over the last ten years in real terms. Nurses the same. How 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 are we meant to keep this NHS working if we cannot retain staff? We won't retain staff if we can't pay them to survive in this country anymore. The reason Dina, that Dina, I, I, I agree. I agree with a lot of what you're saying. You talked about morale being at rock bottom. Did you have you spoken to any of your colleagues in the last 24, 48 hours about what Labour's been saying on this? And how much have those comments from Keir Starmer and West Treating? What's been the response from your colleagues well, in in the it, NHS? It, it, there's been outrage. <laughs> there's been outrage, especially West Streeting. I mean, West. God knows what he's thinking. Other, I mean, I, I don't understand what he's thinking. Why, why he wants to make an enemy of us? We're not the enemy. We want we want patient care to get better. That is literally all we want is for people to get looked after better. We want to be able the moral injury that we suffer from not being able to care for patients. That's what we want to get rid of by caring mm. for people better. For him to say that the that the or for whoever Keir Starmer to say that there's a something for nothing culture, what on earth? And of course, if if they improve staffing, things will get better. A plus B equals C. No one's saying that if you increase staffing, everything will stay the same as it now as it is now. In, of course, that's not what we want. We want to improve staffing so that we can deliver better care to our patients. Got you. Dina, thank you for your call. Dina's in Ealing. Dina, thank you. Lots of people want to get in.